is the Lemon Buster's inspection of a Volkswagen Touareg. Let, let us begin the inspection. We'll start with the front bumper. As you can see the front bumper is in pretty good shape on the corners here. It does have some scratches below the headlights. The headlight unit is nice and sturdy. See here, it's got some little chips and scratches and a much bigger scuff right here by the wheel opening. Move down, you can see there's more typical little light scratches and chips and whatnot. Grill is intact and in good shape. Looks like there's a, some minor parking input impact damage here. You can see your stress cracks and a little chunk there. It also continues down in this area. And also around over here by the other opening. You can see it's also got some more scrapes and scratches, probably a city car. The headlight assembly is in good shape here. Go ahead and move to this fender, the left front fender. You can see it's in relatively good shape. Some light scratches here and there, nothing too major. Typical used car stuff. You can go ahead and move on to the left front mirror. It does have some light scratches here on the outside corner. We're going to go ahead and move on to the door. The vehicle is a little on the dirty side. We do have some scratches and whatnot. Kind of hard to see on this color. So we got one coming up right there. The dirt mark on that scratch, and then another scratch there, and a scratch there and there. Go ahead and move on to the left rear door. See, we got a scratch there, chip there, scratch there, scratch there. So we have multiple chips around here, all along the, on the rear, right, left rear door here, and we also have a scratch right there. Moving on to the left rear quarter panel, you can see there's a couple of little chips and scratches, typical used car stuff. For all colors are in nice shape, along with the windows and the trim overall. Go ahead, moving to the tailgate area and rear spoiler. You can see it's nice and clean. Basswood stood. See the sticker in print there of the old dealership. There's a little red mark right here on the bottom of the tailgate. We'll go ahead and take a look at the rear bumper. See it's got some little scratches here and there, a little nick there, a little gouge there. See we got a little scratch there, another little gouge there, a little gouge there. Just typical used car stuff. So we got a little scratch right there below the tail lights. So the tail lights nice and sturdy. Move on to the right rear quarter panel. There's a small scratch by the fuel door. There's a small scratch by the wheel arch. Moving up into the pillar. There is a bunch of deep scratches. Let's see if we can get them to show up here. Up on the pillar here. See the trim and the glass are in good shape on this side as well. Along with the front pillar. This is the roof. Very typical minor little scratches. One of the roof, as you can see the roof rack bars are pushed up next to each other there. They are both there. At this point we're going to move into the left rear door. We have a little scratch in the trim right there. See, we got some little scratches and a slight little ding right here. Got a scratch right here on the door, running the length here. And another one right here as well. And also right there, along with a couple of chips. Move on into the right front door now. You see, there's a couple little chips here and there. Blank scratches, typical used car stuff. See there, there's some, some like I don't know if it's a sap or a tar. It seems to be kind of coming off. The car's kind of on the dirty side. We're gonna move on into the right front fender here. See, it's got very minimal scratches and chips. In good shape. Can take a look at the hood now. Got some light scratches. 
got a chip right there above my finger. A couple little chips down here. Slight scratch there. Some more scratches right in there. and move under the hood at this time. You see here we have a VR6 VW motor here under the hood. This is a pretty decent motor from Volkswagen. You see right off the bat, ditch the can is broken, very common. Also there's some scratches on the intake manifold. Your power steering fluid, it uses a mineral oil, CHF11S is what you should be using in here. You see the fluid's good and where it should be. See your AC lines there, no real signs of leak. Same with the cooling system. You can see the unibody structure looks good. See the cooling fans in there. Move on to our air box. Got our washer fluid, cooling system. We've had the vehicle running, so we're not gonna open that up now. We do have pictures of the coolant from the floor. See your exhaust manifold, so two sensors. You can see it's a pretty clean motor, pretty dry. Take a look at your 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 belt and your tensioner here is in real good shape. No, no real signs of leaks or anything like that. You can see down in here, you got you can see the back on back side of the motor. It's a real clean car overall. You see your brake fluid reservoir there, it's in between the min and max line, closer to the min line. You see your underside of your hood here is in good shape. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to the uh, wheels and tire portion of the inspection. You can see here we are at our right front wheel. It's in pretty good shape. It has some scratches and whatnot. Got ourselves a nice Dunlop tire here. Looks like it was somewhat recently put on. It's got good tread life on it. About 8.30 seconds left. Go ahead and take a peek at our brakes here. You see your front brakes have about 30% or so left on me, 35, right in that area. I'm going to be, need to be done soon. See here we've got our uh, coil spring, upper ball joint and stuff like that. Seem to be in pretty decent shape, about average shape for the condition of the vehicle. Go ahead and move underneath here. You see your, your rack and pinions nice and dry and not leaking. CV boots are intact, big problems with VWs, they kind of eat CV boots. You can see your tie rod on and your ball joint in average shape for, for this aged vehicle. See no real signs of any leaks, control arm bushings and subframe bushings look good. At this point as you can see the underside of the vehicle is pretty darn clean. A little bit of rust on the muffler. See the transfer case is nice and dry. Also you see the transmission, you get a better look at it on the other side. Real nice and dry and clean. At this point, we're going to move into the rear suspension area. As you can see, the rear suspension is in pretty good shape. You know, average, typical stuff. A little bit of rust on the subframe. Real typical. One problem here is on the uh, right rear tire. Definitely got an alignment wear issue here. It's from negative camber. Wore out the tire. This is kind of how these cars do wear, wear tires a little bit. You might want to get the alignment checked on it. You can see here, this tire is pretty close to being done. It's got about 2.30 seconds left. Go ahead and take a look at the right rear wheel. You can see it's in pretty good shape here. Also, there was a tire pressure monitor light on. According to my scan tool data, both front tires are low on air. They're not flat, but they're low on air. Moving to the rear here, you can see your rear CV joints in good shape, along with the sway bar, your rear coil springs. See the eccentrics for the alignment in the back here are a little bit on the rusty side. See the exhaust is overall real good, nice. See your rear differentials nice and dry. It's going to get more rust on the knuckles and struts and stuff like that. Real typical for a Chicago car. But it's pretty clean overall. At this point we're going to wrap up part one of the Lemon Busters inspection of a VW Tourreg. And we'll continue with part two.